All right, here is our next um, project here. You can see <coughs> it is a breadboard radio. It is more or less all here. This originally was a Remler kit radio. Okay, what they would do is they would send you a kit of parts and um, you'd put it all together yourself. It's a super hat. Got your uh, tuning controls. Meter, I, I don't, the meter was missing. I've got one here that is very close. It's it's within oh less than an eighth of an inch of fitting. The 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 meter itself fits through the hole, but these screws are around the outside stick out a little bit and keep it from going in. I'll just grind that a little bit and this meter will work just fine. Okay. And all the rest of the stuff is in working order. Um, now, it uses, see this one is made slightly different than some of the others. Some of them put a strip of wood that had all the tubes mounted on it in a row. This one they mounted on a breadboard, they mounted the uh, tubes to the breadboard <coughs> individually. You know, it was, a, <coughs> it was a kit of parts and you did it more or less, you know, the way you, uh, the way you want it. They gave you a general, here's how you should do it, and you just, uh, did it, look at those, look at those tuning condensers. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> it's something. I mean, those darn things, they are quite a find in themselves. I, 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 I'm not going to chop the radio to get them out of there. I'd love to have a couple. They're hard to find. Um, then, this is the, uh, the, the, I guess the oscillator coil, I, I don't know for sure, and um, it used a loop. Uh, this one was made to, to use a loop antenna that connected onto here, and you got your oscillator tube over here, you got your first RF right here, then mixer, that was the RF and mixer, and then you've got four IFs, well one, it would be three IFs, four IF transformers, Okay, then you have the detector tube and um, audio, audio, and we're missing one transformer. Apparently it was burned out. Um, okay, there's something else right here that's missing. I am suspecting it was a condenser of some kind. Okay, the, this is for the uh, meter. Okay, we've got another item here. It looks like it probably was another condenser. And then there's another right here that I don't have any idea what is. I'll have to analyze the circuit and see what that was. It's going into the tuning circuit of some way. And um, this is a little small uh, variable condenser. I don't know if I can get that into the picture or not. It's a little, little variable condenser, probably about maybe 20 or 30 picofarads, and um, I'll have to analyze the circuit to see what it was used for. And this has a, um, okay, it has a uh, variable coupler. Uh, they mounted the condenser right <laughs> in front of the variable, <laughs> so you can't really uh, vary the thing worth a darn. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take that condenser and um, I'll move it over so that the uh, adjustment is, is you can get to it. it. It may not make any difference. I mean, maybe it doesn't matter. All right, so the thing is, is dusty and dirty. I paid $120 for this thing. It was, it was quite a bite, but it, it, it had all the tubes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, four. It had six 199s in it, and five of the six were, were in good. They were good tubes, had good emission. Okay, the sixth one had a, uh, a, a burned out filament. And then it had two 01As that were missing. Uh, you know, they're just dime a dozen. And then, um, other than that, uh, everything is here. You know, the meter was missing, that transformer was missing, and a, a, a couple capacitors and stuff. So overall, for $120, this was a bargain. Uh, I'm pretty sure if these tuning condensers came on eBay, they would be at least $50 each. So that was, um, right there, pays for the whole thing. And the tubes, I mean, there's over $100 worth of tubes in the thing. Good 99s. All right, let's get busy. I'm going to take it out and use air hose, and I'm just going to blow all the dust off of it. it it's got a lot of dust on it. Slot that screw is screwed up. This used to be a C, ba a C battery here, a four and a half volt C battery used to sit right here. But we don't need a C battery if we run the B plus um, below 90 volts. We're going to run it um, at 45 or 67 and a half volts. So we don't need a C battery. All right, I'm going to go get the schematic of this. Now, what I've got to do, <clears throat> I've got a schematic of the radio, and um, what has to be done is to figure out these filaments. <clears throat> They're showing one, two, three filament rheostats. Okay, we don't have three. We've got two filament rheostats and those um, automatic regulators. Now, The automatic regulators, okay, they go to the, um, okay, we've got a situation here which is not correct. Okay, so I'm going to change that. <clears throat> okay, so we're, we're completely intact all the way up to the input of the detector. Up to this point here, we're intact. Okay? Now, the output to a transformer. We have to go from the first transformer to the O1A. Okay? We have got that. That is okay. We go from the output of that onto the top one of those, okay, that's okay. And then the other one goes to the plate and to the deal, okay? So that's okay and that's okay. All right, the plate of this one goes to the speaker, okay? So we go into there and that plate goes across there and the speaker. There, we got a single one. This is going to not be a 201, this is a 171 instead of an 01. All right, that will be an 01. Okay. Now, these, the 171 has got one of those resistors. Okay, and the 018. It's got one. Okay, I don't like the way this is hooked up. <clears throat> this is made to where these two potentiometers, these rheostats, will interact. When you change this one, then this, this one gets adjusted. And that could make it to where there would be a, a disaster. You, you could overdo one of these tubes. Now, we're completely okay on the ONAs. We don't have to worry about them. It, it actually, it makes sense the way it is. It, it really can be left the way it is. 
All right, we've got a problem here. I've got a, uh, a resistor here. Got to get that out of there. Okay, and then right here. Okay. See, we can see right here. Oh, it's okay. It's just just unwinding on there is what it's doing. It's it's unwinding. It's it's it's. Eh, why do they make things so crappy? And we're just going to stick that wire on there. Okay, now that sticks that wire on there to where it's not going anywhere. Okay, we can put this back in order. Um, okay. Now, that gets that connected in, okay, and that's at 8 ohms. Now, the meter, I don't know which one goes where. All right, so that's the minus right there. Okay. Now, that means, all right, the one with that wires and stuff is going to be the plus. Okay, where's that wire? This wire here came from the meter. It has to go to one of the other of them. Okay, or it goes to the one with the resistor. Okay, I see it. That one went right here. Okay, the one with the resistance, A plus, so corrode it up. Now, All right, that's, that's just right, okay? Very good. Now I've got to tighten that down on there. Okay. Now the plus side we need, um, okay, it's one milliamp, so we're going to need a, well, it's going to be a 10K resistor. All right, what have I got? Got the power supply over here, left bench supply. And I'm just going to check this to make sure it's right at full scale. 
No, it's not. Okay, let me check it. I'm going to check it with a good meter. Well, we'll check it with this one. Ah, should be 10, 10 volt. I mean, that, that meter is accurate. No, it isn't. God. How do you? I can't trust anything. Give me the digital meter. Oh, yeah. Every meter I've got reads something different. <laughs> okay. Give me this digital job here. All right. All right. Okay, let's go. That's the ground. 9.3 volts, okay. <laughs> oh god. Okay, that's ten volts even. Now and what does it read with my triplet? My triplet can't be that far off. No, it's right on the money. So the triplet and the digital meter read the same. Can't beat that. Hey, it, it's it's fifty years old, sixty years old. Okay, now if I get on here. Uh -uh. 10k. All right, let's try a 12k. See what a 12k will read. Oh, oh, right on a button. Okay. So 12k. What's this one? A 12. Yeah. I want to check the overall accuracy of that. Okay, I'm going to set the voltage down. Okay, that's three volts. Okay, is this right? Yeah. Okay. Two point nine. Okay, it's reading two point nine. Close. That's close enough within one little bitty, 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 bitty division. Okay, so this 12K is what we use to set the meters to the correct uh, voltage. Okay, see the switch? The switch is right here, so we have to hook it to that wire and then up to here, and it'll work. There she is. See, I, I had to prove that she was the one down there blowing that fart. <laughs> oh, you little kitty. Who was working with this radio was screaming and cussing because that was an intermittent connection. <laughs> an intermittent connection there. Okay. Good. All right, now we have plate number one connected right here. 
or number two, I guess. Okay. And that is for the speaker. Very good. And this is plate number one, which is the um, headphone connection. It has to go to the other plate. Okay, I'm just going to stick that down through there. All right, and it'll go right on there. Spam. Okay, that particular one has no no function. Just a piece of wire it was on there went to something here, but I don't know what it was. Okay, that. Now we're missing. Okay, this is the the ground connection for the output tube. Okay, that has got to go. Oh, uh, where are we gonna hook it? Now we've got. We've got this wire right here. It was going to a, um, a, a C battery. We're just going to take it and connect it straight to the uh, A minus, okay? Okay. That's sticking good. That gets the bottom half of the transformer, the top half, and um, B plus, and the plate. That one's hooked up. All right, next transformer is this one. Okay. The low end goes to that same one, the, B, the A minus. This this is a when it's all working. This will be a five hundred dollar radio. It's definitely a, a very collectible radio. You don't find them around very much. Whenever you find one around, people pay money. They pay a lot of money to get it. They, they, these things were all stripped for parts. It's full of good parts, and um, there was a lot of people who um, grabbed these up and, and stripped them for parts, so you don't see them around very much. new transformer. All right, there's a transformer. I'll just make it 0 to 10 volts with a resistor in series with it. are properly tapped. This will do perfect. All right, that will go there. And I'm going to bend it over. Okay. Good. And then that'll be there. And bend it over right there. See, that's nice and neat. Go on into there. Mm -hmm. 
very good. Okay, that takes care of the grid wire. All right, that takes care of that. All right, now we get on the other side. Okay, we go from there over to this one. Okay. Okay, that has to be how much? Okay, half an inch. It's surprising that we didn't have to cut that. Oh, don't. That's it. it broke the solder. Ah, that's a good one. Okay, that takes care of the secondary and the half of the primary. All right, now this one here has to go. All right, that takes care of that transformer. Audio is all done. Detector is done. <clears throat> the meter is done. Okay, the next thing we need is we have to put some, put some pieces of wire here. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, that's going to be... It's going to be common. And then this is going to be the high B plus. So I'm going to take it. Those two are going to be connected together. Okay, that's it. Power supply goes to there. Okay, now we've got something missing here. Um, there. We've got one, two, three, and that front. Okay. One, two, three, and the front. Okay. Those go to a slate bias. Okay. See, we've got a problem here. This is the adjustment for the feedback on the oscillator. That condenser is put right in front of it. Complete idiots. So we're going to move that over. Hmm. Okay. Now what I want to do I'm going to move that over to there. See, and then we can get to the adjustment. Much better. <laughs> mm. there. All right, that takes care of that one. It's perfect.
뭐예요? 아니다. 이렇게 하면 돼요. 오케이. 오케이, okay, we're pretty much ready to connect power to it. Um, okay, first thing we're going to do is check the filaments. Power supply ready here. Okay. Have six volts on the input. Six volts was the nominal input. They were running off of a, uh, a, a three-cell storage battery, so they would um, have six volts on the uh, A supply. All right, we got our A supply, and we shall. Negative to here, plus to here. Okay, and we turn the switch on. Okay. Well, that ain't right. Here we go. Five. Six volts even. We're drawing about seven tenths of an amp filament. Okay. And if we measure on the O1As, okay, we're getting five volts on the O1As, which is correct. And on this one, the 71A. Okay, a hair over. Okay, that means that ah. okay this filament regulator in the back is not going to do okay let me disconnect and we'll get that out of there I don't like to run the tubes eh, hotter than they should because they'll, they'll wear out quicker Now that one reads 2 ohms, okay, and this one here, well, I can't tell, I got other tubes in there. Okay, let me get the box of them again. I've got to have a, uh, okay. Okay, 112, okay, that is, okay, that's reading the same as the other one, 01A, okay, let's see what that reads. Okay, let's try this one, get that in there. Right now, we turn the switch back on. Oh wait, I didn't do the switch. I do it with this. All right, now tube is lit. Five volts. Okay, that one will do. These others are for more tubes, I guess. Maybe it's for for several of those tubes. All right, we now got five volts on each of those, and we've got 
we read the um, okay three volts okay three volts okay that's less than three volts but we have the, the control turned down what I'm not reading there there Ah. <laughs> all right all right look at that see that one right there <laughs> that's probably why they got rid of this darn radio they, they had loose connections all over the place bad solder connections all right let's see I was going to say, why the hell don't I have voltage on that tube? Because we got a bad solder connection there. See, they didn't have a soldering gun back in the old days. They were using those old, um, <laughs> great big old things. Probably um, had to heat them up with a, with a blowtorch. And then work quick. All right, that looks good. Now let's measure again. See, you have have a filament like that out, and the, the radio is going to be dead. Okay. All right, that's reading two volts. Okay. Yeah, get on there. Okay, now if I run this up, we get to almost 3 volts. Okay, see, and if I look at the meter, okay, it's dropped down. So if I run this one up, okay, and that gets to the 3 volts. Okay. It's not a very good design. They, they, it, it's, there's an interaction between these two controls, and that, that's not a good design. It's, it's a safe design. It makes it to where you can't run that up and burn your uh, 199s out because all of them are limited by a big resistor that's down in there that keeps you from um, putting the full 6 volts onto the 199s, which would, of course, be a, uh, a total disaster. But it does mean that there's going to be some interaction between those controls. I don't think it's going to make any difference, but who knows. All right, now that's our B+. Plus. Okay, I'm going to set that to 45 volts to start with. Oops. All right, 45 volts and hook that to B+. Plus. Okay, we're getting two tenths of an amp. All right, and if I cut... Okay. Then, yeah, it does. It goes up to right on the edge of two two point nine amps. Okay. Now the next thing that has to be done. We're going to see whether the oscillator is going. Okay. I'm going to turn the scope on. All right, there's absolutely nothing on the oscillator. Um, okay, let me see if we have some B+. Plus. I'm just going to measure on here and see that we have B+, plus on the plate. There's nothing, okay. So, there's something in the wiring that's wrong. 
Okay, so what we have to do, we have to find out why we don't have any D-plus on the plate of the tube. Alright. Okay, let me get from the plate. Nothing. Okay. It shows the plate goes to the one microfarad capacitor. Okay, that's this one right here. Okay, I go on the plate and we do not get to the one mic capacitor either side. So something is, is not correct there. We obviously don't have that correct. Okay, let me see where it goes. Okay, the plate. All right. Okay, I see it. Okay, the plate goes to there and to there. Okay, this right here is correct. That capacitor there is this tuning condenser, and um, that one there is down in here. That's okay. And we got it to the plate, and all that is correct. But this one here to the one microfarad, that's that's power. That is power, sure as hell. Um. Well, I see where the problem is. The terminal on that coil is not hooked to anything. So, what I suspect, this wire here, I suspect. I very much suspect that wire. I think that is supposed to go to there. We've got to check the grid of the next tube. Okay, we've got the grid of the next tube. It goes to there. Okay, and then here goes to the condenser. Okay. And to the terminal. Okay, so we're good on that. That is okay. That's okay. That's okay. Now, we got that one there, okay, and then, okay, we're going from the plate on the second one back to there. All right, this one's okay. That's this little bitty one right here. That's okay. So, um, the one that is wrong is this right in here. That, that terminal has to go somewhere, and it's not. All right, so we're going to, this wire is wrong. I'm going to try connecting those two together and see what goes on. It looks like that was the wire that was missing. Okay, well, let's, let's go ahead and um, juice it up again. Okay, now, ain't got shit. That ain't worth a damn. Okay, this wire, okay, that's got B plus on it. That does not. Okay, this wire has B plus. I can see why we don't have any connection to anything. Okay, okay, that is wrong. That is wired wrong. Okay, definitely. All right, we've got three transformers. Okay, that has to be more or less to ground. I'm going to connect it to ground right now. We've got to get the voltage taken care of first. That capacitator should not be there. Okay, now that gets the grid to ground. Okay, very good. Now that takes care of this connection right here that was missing. Okay, now the one that we're missing, okay, now that one goes to B. Plus. Okay. This wire needs to be moved over. 
Okay, and then that is going to go. Good move. I'm just going to take it. All right. Okay, we got all this soldered back together to where we got B plus on the coil. Let's go ahead and juice it up and see if it works. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There's the oscillator. Tunes. Okay, that's the upper frequency is 2.06 megahertz and the lower is 459 megahertz. Now the IF on this is supposed to be 45 kilohertz. So that will give us a tuning range from, um, well, it looks like probably 400 kilohertz up to about uh, 1. Uh, Five or so megahertz, depending on which side of the uh, thing we tune the uh, tune the IF. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, figure out how to get the uh, the mixer working. Very good, very very good. I was afraid that oscillator was going to be a bear to get working, but this looks very good. Okay, it originally had a loop between these two outside here loop antenna. Okay, we have to have that loop in there in order to provide the DC path for the grid of the 199. Okay, 199 will fit in here. Okay. Okay, and the loop will go on these two terminals here. Alright, let me get a loop antenna and we'll see if uh, we'll get something out of the radio. Well, let's see. Now that's the front end. We haven't tried the back end. The let's go ahead and um, connect the speaker to it and see if the audio stuff is working. That, that'll be very easy to test. All right. It's going all the way through. I'm touching the um, antenna terminal, so it's going through all the IFs. Okay. What happens if I connect the generator? Yeah, the damn thing is actually working. Okay, let me get down. Okay, that's at 55 kilohertz. So it looks like the IF is 55 kilohertz. All right, this sucker is working. It's working. Okay, I need an antenna on it, and then we can make it work. All right. Okay, here we have a loop antenna. Just one off an old table radio. And I'm going to uh, connect it to the appropriate places here. Oh. oh, okay. See, that's to a capacitor. That's to a capacitor. So we still have an open grid. Okay, this is not going to work. Got the loop. But to ground. Now there's where the problem is. That's ground. We get nothing. That ain't going to work. See, that leaves that grid floating DC-wise. Okay, so apparently... There was a tapped loop there, and it went to this. Um, it went to this variable battery here. They show. I, I don't know what they meant by that. 
probably a bunch of um, flashlight cells and they, they picked them. We don't have that. All right. Okay. And we'll go from there over to here. I gotta leave that on there temporarily until we put a wire in the other way. Okay. And we'll connect on to there and to the inductor. Now when I read to ground we should see a DC connection. If I go to ground and go on to the grid, yeah, we got connection. Okay, that should clear things up. Okay, power on. Getting something. Okay, that's the IF output right there. Okay, that's node C. Now I'm going to increase the C voltage. That's zero volts. Okay, there's two volts, three volts, six volts. Okay, we get up to 20, it starts cutting off. Okay, it looks like six volts. It's just right. That's working pretty good. Okay, now there's a weak one. Now let me run the gain up. I mean, we don't get that uh, that oscillation. So we're not getting that background. Well, yeah, a little bit. working great. I mean, this is as good as it's ever going to work. All right. Well, that's it. A, um, a Remler Super Hat from in the late 1920s. Ha, ha. That is something else.